Hey you, welcome back to Matt again, my name is Rampage and this is Gaming News. This article is GDC 2015 Valve announces Source 2 engine. So Valve unveiled Source 2, a more powerful engine for developers at GDC, which was on the 3rd of March. So Source 2 is the successor to Valve's original Source engine, which has been used since the release of Counter-Strike Source in 2004. It was also it has also been used for multiple games since, including the seminal sem, seminal Half-Life 2. Um, at GDC, Valve's Jay Steely said the content creation toolkit will be available for free, which is kind of cool, along with a Vulcan compatible version. I'll get into that in a moment because I just actually found out what that was. But anyway, he states the value of a platform like the PC is how much it increases the productivity of those who use the platform. Okay, with uh, with sorry with Source 2, our focus is increasing creative productivity. Given how important user-generated content is becoming, Source 2 is designed not for just the professional developer, but enabling gamers themselves to participate in the creation and development of their favorite games. We will be making Source 2 available for free to content developers. Okay, that, that is actually kind of cool. I don't know whether the Source 2 engine itself is going to be... Uh, okay, so I'm just going to go into this other article by VG247. I hate it when they just talk about other shit rather than the actual article that they want to write themselves. But anyway, Valve quietly announced Source 2, its highly anticipated engine upgrade, and again said it would be entirely free. Okay, why the hell did you just make two fucking articles about the same thing? Ah, fuck. Okay, so this com this combined with recent announcements announcements by Epic and Unity will help continue the PC's dominance as the premier content authoring authoring platform. Okay, cool. Um. <laughs> But anyway, Vulcan, formerly known as Next Generation OpenGL, is a cross-platform, cross-vendor 3D graphics API that allows game developers to get the most out of the latest graphics hardware. This combined with recent announcements by Epic and Unity, well, I already said that. Okay, so I'm assuming, like, because it was called initially OpenGL, but then they state cross-platform, cross-vendor, 3D graphics API, does that mean you can use OpenGL as well as DirectX? Mm. But uh, <laughs> if somebody knows more about that, please, you know, put it in the comments below. But what do you think about it? Do you think, do you, do you like Source Engine? Do you prefer Source Engine or anything like that? Like for me, I don't, I don't know, just something weird about it. I just don't really like Source Engine as, itself. Uh, probably because no game that I've seen has actually had aim down sight um, for all of the shooters that have be, you know come out on Source Engine. I could be wrong there, there could be one game that I'm missing out on or whatever, but most Valve games you can't actually aim down sight, which is a real issue for me because I'm like, oh, I want to aim down sight, no, I can't do it. But um, yeah, I believe they sort of leaked images of Source Engine 2, Source Engine 2 screen shots. This was, like, announced ages ago. Not really announced, but kind of leaked, where it was, like, areas from Left 4 Dead 2 or Left 4 Dead with, like, revamped models. Um, so this has been around for a while. It's just that it's actually a thing now. Um, yeah. Oh, okay, so this was Source 2, Left 4 Dead 2 prototype screenshots. Oh, okay. So, the levels were rebuilt in Source Engine 2. Ah, okay, so that was the prototype. Now it's actually released or announced the engine. No date on when it will actually come out as of, as of right now. Um, but yeah. Looks kind of promising. Um, but Source Engine has al always been one of those engines that have actually made games look decent, like pretty impressive, without the actual, like... I don't know, advanced, no, I wouldn't say advanced, but something like more powerful hardware to be able to run it. Like Source Engine, you could run most Source Engine games on like really old hardware, which is really impressive. Not a lot of engines can pull that shit off. Like Frostbite, fucking 
CryEngine, good luck, mate. Um, but Source Engine, pretty good. Pre you know, so it's, yeah. I guess it's good in that in that sense. But I don't know. I just haven't really seen any games blow me away as much as Left 4 Dead 2 did. You know, um, Portal 2, fine as well. But I don't know. Give me an aim down sight game, god damn it. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Leave your thoughts on what you think will come from Source Engine 2. Will we finally get Half-Life 3? Will I finally ever play Half-Life 1 and 2? Probably not. Um, I might play Half-Life 2 eventually, but I don't know, man. It's just weird. <laughs> I know it's a really good game, but meh. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know. Peace out.